Hello and welcome to the RDA. Welcome to your Manchester United vs Watford preview. And as you can see, I am not Shanique. My boy couldn't make it today, so I have decided to grace you with my presence, you know. So yeah, I'll be doing the preview today to Watford. And I'm going to try to go a different route. I'm going to try to put it together with some key points that I felt came up in the press conference. Press conference that Ralph just did uh, for our game against Watford. And yeah, I'm just going to just try package it together and just present it like that, you know. And yeah, without any further ado, let's get to the presser. And pff, this is a rather boring one. You know, I've come to notice that... The Premier League presses are very boring in comparison to the Champions League ones, you know. But, you know, the embargoed one is going to come out tomorrow. So, I can imagine maybe more relevant things will be talked about then. But for this specific one, there wasn't really anything, really. There wasn't really anything. Um, aside from the football, they did ask him about the situation in Ukraine and what he thinks about what's going on. And obviously, um, he talked about how it's a horrendous situation and he feels like um, the politicians should work it out diplomatically and there'll be no violence you know as i can imagine all of us think you know but without getting too much into that there wasn't much about the football there wasn't there was barely anything about the football heck they didn't even ask him for an injury update which is a mainstay really for press conferences you know so they didn't ask him about that but they did ask him about Watford a little bit they first asked him about you know what he thinks of Watford you know under uh, Roy Hudson and they talked about how he has a relationship with Ray Hudson, or whether or not he has a relationship with Ray Hudson. And he talked about how, yeah, he has. He's met him a couple of times. They've never played against each other, but he's met him a couple of times. And he feels, he, he talked about how they have played under Ray. He didn't really talk, they didn't really give away much, nor did he praise much because he'd be lying, <laughs> to be completely honest. He'd be lying if he praised anything that's happened under Ray so far because I think they've won one game since he's come in. It hasn't been many games, but I think they've won one game since he's come in. And yeah, hey, it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough for Watford right now. But he talked about how when Roy came in, he changed to a 4-4-2, which he's played at other teams, and that didn't work. And he switched back to what Watford has been playing for most of the season, which is a 4-3-3, you know. And, yeah, he just talked about how they have aggressive, fast, forward play, uh, uh, attacking players, you know, and how we're going to have to watch out against that. But, yeah, he didn't really praise nor talk about how badly they've been doing. He just played it safe, bro, which I understand, considering he has a relationship with, with, with Roy Hudson, you know. But, yeah, that was it, really. That was it. And then they also asked him about, you know, the fixtures, you know. Um, yes, the, 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 the journalist was like, yes, Ralph, I know you don't like to look too far ahead. But, you know, you're playing well for this weekend. But the fixtures after that, it's going down for you. You know, and what do you think? And, of course, Ralph's like, oh, you know, one game at a time. You know, Ralph is, you know. And he talked about how we need to keep on and carry on the momentum. Because we do have a bit of momentum right now. So he just said we have to um, focus, you know, one game at a time. And make sure we get the three points. It was, we need the three points right now, you know. So, yeah, that was it, really. That was it. <laughs> there were the two uh, main questions I think they also asked him about some chant we sang yada 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 nothing really relevant this always happens with the Premier League press conferences so I think we're all used to it but yeah I think we'll talk more about Watford you know and it's going down for Watford <laughs> it's going down um I think the one they won they didn't win the last game but they won the game before that and the one no I'm forgetting against what team it was but in the last game I know they took four four they got hammered four against Crystal Palace. And, ish, it's not looking good. They're second last on the table. And, yeah, nah, nah, nah. Bringing Roy was a very desperate move. It it, very was, it really was. But what else could they do, you know? And we know that the Rockford owners are trigger happy. So, as soon as they fired their first manager, who I'm forgetting who it is, gosh, I'm not prepared today. I'm forgetting who their first manager was this season. And then they brought in, uh, what's his name again? Dili Ding Dili Dong. Um... Claudio Neri, the one Claudio Neri disaster, and now the brought in Roy Hudson, you know, and it's not gonna work. It's, it's not gonna work, you know. Roy Hudson is a good manager, but he, he he's not a miracle worker. <laughs> he's not a miracle worker, so I don't see what for surviving the season. But maybe, maybe Roy will make them harder to beat, you know, because he's very experienced. Maybe he will get a little extra oomph out of these players, but ultimately. I just don't see them being saved, you know? And they're coming up against Manchester United. And the thing is, as much as I don't think they'll be saved, they're coming up against Manchester United. You know, the Robin Hoods of the Premier League. So, <laughs> all cards on the table. Anything can happen. They, they could win this game. They could, heck, they could hammer us. Wait, what? 
They've hammered us this season. Yes, they've hammered us this season. They put four past us, you know. The team in second, who've been pretty much right the whole season, put four past us, you know. So anything can happen. Anything can happen. And yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting game. It's going to be an interesting game. But Watford are seriously struggling right now. They can see a lot of goals. They don't score many. So I don't see uh, where they get saved. And realistically, we shouldn't see how they beat Manchester United. But it's Manchester United we're talking about, so anything's possible. So it's going to be a very interesting game. And from our point of view, we can't let this be a banana peel. We can't. We we love it. We love it. You know, we, we we're we're starting to gain a good run of form right now. Maybe we're not. We don't look amazing on the pitch. Maybe we're not perfect, but we're winning games or we're getting points. You know, um, and yeah, actually, in general, since Ralph came, we haven't really dropped that many. We haven't really, we, we've looked decent. You know, we haven't lost that many games. That's the, that's the word I was looking for. We haven't really lost that many games. But specifically now, it does seem like it's it's the, the amount or the the, the the charge for top four is coming together, you know. But it would be very Manchester United-like to mess it up, you know, to mess it up. Um, Spurs are probably out of the picture because, hey, it's a yikes, eh? And, you know, we saw with Conte. <laughs> we look very much depressed after, after the game against, who did they play? Against Burnley. We look very much the best after the game against Burnley. But Arsenal. Arsenal. Arsenal are doing the things. Arsenal are doing the things, you know. From my point of view, I have been saying that they won't make top four. They won't make top four. United's going to make top four. Because I always felt like, at the end of the day, it's going to come down to the quality of the players and the teams. And I just feel like, at the end of the day, as much as we might have our problems, we have Ronaldo, you know, who who will score enough. We have... Bruno, you know, we have Pogba, and who do Arsenal have, you know? So that's always been my opinion, you know. But you know, <laughs> like they they were struggling against against um, Wolves, and then I can think in the last ten minutes they just showed up, you know, and they're grinding out results right now. Arsenal's grinding out results, and we must not be naive and think they can't, they won't be able to do it until the end of the season, you know. Maybe realistically they can't, but then we. From our side, we need to focus on our game and make sure that we're in the top four come the end of the season, you know. At the moment, we are in the top four, which I think is a plus because what I've come to learn in football and in the Premier League, it's better to have the points on the board than games in hand. <laughs> yeah, that's just my opinion. It's better to have the, point, the, 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 the points on the board than games in hand, you know. So I think we're in a good position right now and we need, we need to beat Watford, especially with the fixtures coming up. You know, I know Ralph says, oh, we don't look far ahead, but he does. He does. He does think, you know, we need to beat Watford because the next two fixtures after that are City and Tottenham, if I'm not mistaken. You know, a direct rival and the team is probably going to win the league, you know. So, yeah, that's probably three, if not one point in those two games, <laughs> to, be, to be honest, to be honest, you know. We'll probably lose the City. Hopefully not, but we'll probably lose the City. And that means this Watford game becomes even more important, you know. And I feel like this game needs to be a bit of a statement game, you know, because uh, we first, I remember uh, Burnley, and I'm forgetting who else, where we conceded very early on in the first half, in the second half, you know, after playing really well in the first half, the second half we conceded early, and then, you know, we dropped, uh, we, we didn't win the game, you know, we didn't win the game. And then we beat Brighton, yes, they got a, they, they, I think they got a red card, but we beat Brighton, and what was our last Premier League game? What was our last Premier League game? I'm forgetting what our last Premier League game was, but we won that game. And yeah, we're building something. I think this needs to be the game where um, we start well, we play well in the first half, we play well in the second half, we get the three points, we do it in style. Because, <laughs> I don't want to swear, but it is Watford. It is Watford, ladies and gentlemen. And especially the fact that they put four past us, the fact that they put four past us, it's, it's it's just more incentive for us to go out and smash these muns and smash these muns and i think we're capable we're very capable but you know i'm usually the guy who says we're capable on this show and then she could be like relax dude relax <laughs> so maybe i should relax and if i'm being realistic it'll probably end up being a difficult game because we make every game difficult but at the end of the day we'll probably scrape through it you know but it's gonna be a very interesting game we just need to have our heads on straight Start well in the first half, score in the first half, which we probably won. And in the second half, don't take a foot off the gas. You know, put three, put four, as much as you can. It's freaking Watford, you know. And 
yeah, I think it's going to be an interesting game. Moving on to the lineup, um, I'll have it somewhere around me. I'll have the lineup somewhere around me. But yeah, I I'm going to go with Shaw on the left. I'm going to go with Dallow on the right. And I'm going to go with... I think Lindelof, Lindelof probably has to play. Lindelof probably has to play because Lindelof is, is doing pretty well at the moment, you know. And it, it, it will just be fair for him to play. I mean, even against... Um, even in the Champions League against Electrical Madrid, he played um, on the right. But he still did a decent job. It wasn't amazing, but he still did a decent, decent job, you know. So Lindelof probably has to play, you know. But we've seen in, the, in, in this club, even under Oli, with centre-backs specifically, they'll do well. We've seen Bayer do well. But still not get the chance to play, you know. So that's a bit of a yikes. But I think Lindelof should play. But if I had to bet, if I was a betting man, I'm going to go with Maguire and Varane. Because it's Varane, you know. And Maguire is the captain, you know. Uh, you know. And I kind of feel like maybe I'm being harsh on Ralph. Maybe Ralph is that type of manager who goes, I don't care if you're Varane. You know, the captaincy, he probably won't drop Maguire because of the captaincy. And I've talked about that with Shanique. I kind of feel like I do think Ralph has balls, you know. She needs talked about how Ralph doesn't have balls to drop to drop Maguire. I think he does, but I kind of feel like because it's interim, he feels like it, maybe it's not his place at the moment to drop Harry Maguire. You know, so you'll play Harry Maguire, you can keep him as the captain. But Varane, um, maybe I think he's the type of manager who might drop Varane and play in the north. But the reason I think Varane will play is because of Watford, and you feel like the best way to get Varane back on form is to play him into form. You know, so I see that happening. Um, yeah, I said Shaw on the left. Hey, sure at the moment. It's a bit iffy. But once again, it's Watford. It's an opportunity for him to play into form. And then Dallo, I think, will be brilliant for this game. Because I think we need to bombard Watford. I think we need to bombard Watford. I see Watford coming to Old Trafford and sitting deep. <laughs> like they're, they're going to do that. Because what else can they do, you know? <clears throat> they're going to sit deep and play us on the counter and use that strength and pace that Ralph talked about in the press that they have, you know? So we need... Um, Dallo was very comfortable pushing up and you know just banging those crosses, you know. And I think he will do that, and I think he'll probably have a good game, you know. So that's the back four I'm going for. In the midfield, I think it stays the same. I think he's placed the same midfield he plays against Atletico Madrid. And people might say that is a stupid move because that midfield was horrendous midweek. But I think maybe it makes sense because I, if I'm not mistaken, Scott is either not available or he will be, but not 100%. And knowing Ralph, he's not like Ole. If you're not 100%, he ain't playing you. you know, he's not interested. So I see maybe McTominay being on the bench. And I think then it's a coin flip between is it Matic or is it Fred? And he likes Fred. He likes Fred. So I think it's going to be Fred. Maybe there's a world where he drops Pogba and plays Matic and Fred, you know, because it's Watford at the end of the day, even though they beat us four. I keep saying it's Watford at the end of the day, but they smacked us. So maybe I should stop saying that. But I think Fred will play. And then uh, ahead of him, I think it will be Pogba and Bruno, you know, because Pogba and Bruno make the magic happen. You know, I know Pogba didn't have the best first half against Atletico. I know Bruno has been sus here and there, even though lately, sp specifically against Leeds, he got the goals, you know, and he got the assist um, against Atletico Madrid. But I do see Pogba and Bruno playing in the midfield, and that should be enough. That should be enough. We're playing second last. <laughs> We're playing second last, so I'll be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised, but I'll be hurt if <laughs> it's not enough, you know. And front line, um, left, ugh, come on, come on. It's definitely Sancho. Sancho's doing the most at the moment. And yeah, he deserves to start uh, more than anyone, really. Did I talk about the goalkeeper? <laughs> I didn't talk about the goalkeeper, did I? But it's pretty obvious. De Gea is going to be in goals. I think it's pretty obvious. But yeah, I think on the left, it will probably be Sancho. It not probably will be Sancho because Sancho deserves to start at the moment because creativity, you know, he's on fleek at the moment, you know. And Sancho, Bruno, uh, Pogba, the stuff of uh, of Watford's nightmares. It really should be, you know. And on top of that, we've got CR7, you know. And this is a game for him to get goals, you know. He scored uh, not too long ago. Um, was it against Brighton? <laughs> I think it was against Brighton. I'm forgetting what game Ronaldo scored in. But Ronaldo scored not too long ago. But then against Leeds, probably should have scored and didn't. In the Champions League, he was a bit quiet, you know. And yes, there's a whole debate why that is. I'm not going to get into that. But this is a game for Ronaldo to get some goals, you know. And I think he might. He might in this game. And on the right, I'm going to go to Rashford. And I know people say, what? Rashford? Rashford's in shite. <laughs> and that is a very fair assessment. But I do feel like 
as I said with Shaw, as I said with Buran, I feel like Ralph will feel like this is the best game to play him into form, you know. We feel like reversing second last, you know. If there's any game where we can try to get the best out of Rashford, which has gotten numerous opportunities, so you shouldn't be getting this opportunity anyway. But I do feel like you feel like if this is the game to try to get the best out of Rashford, you, you know, if there's any game to get the best out of Rashford, it's going to be this one, you know. And very unfair on Ilanga, very unfair on Ilanga because Ilanga's been playing well. But, you know, I guess that's the nature of being a youth player, you know. You always be put second at the end of the day, and I'm pretty sure he appreciates the game time he's getting anyway. But I see Rashford starting here, and I think Ralph is going to hope that um, he can start to get something more out of out of Rashford. Because I can imagine he feels like, we need him. We need him if we're going to somehow achieve anything in the Champions League. And maybe, uh, not maybe, we, we would really appreciate his goals in the league. Because it will straighten our, our chances of getting top four, you know. So, I think Rashford will start. And I think that will be the lineup. That will be the lineup. And it's going to be an interesting game. It's going to be an interesting game. I think, I think this should be a comfortable game. <laughs> I think this should be a comfortable game but it's never that simple with Manchester United because we are <laughs> we are butless FC as much as I hate saying we are butless FC so yeah there was caution as Manchester United but logically this should be a straightforward game you know we're versus second last we have the better players we are in better form so we should smash them you know but you know in the equation when I add butless FC I'll bring it down to just a narrow win and not a smash. We should put four, but we're probably going to put two. <laughs> probably put two because we're Manchester United. And at the end of the day, I think I'm going to go for a... You know what? I'm going to go 3-1. I'm going to go for a 3-1 win for Manchester United here. Yeah. And be val very valuable three points, you know. And yeah, hopefully it's an entertaining game. You know, the game is easy on the eye because it's not, not always like that with Manchester United. Yes. We are on the edge of our seats because we're freaking nervous, but it's never not the old, not most easy to watch game, most entertaining game. And hopefully it is, you know. And yeah, you know, it's fun to play at Old Trafford. If I'm not mistaken, this game is at Old Trafford. It is at Old Trafford because we got smashed away from home. I'll never forget that. But, you know, it's fun to play at home or it should be fun. But sometimes Manchester United take the fun out of it with the football they play, you know. And it's not, we're expecting under Ralph. We're expecting some other things, you know. We're expecting some other things. But we haven't gotten that so far. So hopefully, this is one game where we see a very front foot attacking, you know. Let's just show both a little, you know. And yeah, I'm hoping for an instant game. But yeah, that's been your your, your preview. Your preview to Watford. Uh, I've been your boy Ritter. And yeah, I'll check you after, after Watford. I'll check you after Watford.